waiting for your call. I'm sick. Hey everyone, it's vlog number three. Um, wanted to take this time to talk about something that, surprise, surprise, isn't completely Twilight related. Um, though it does connect back to Twilight in a big way, and you'll see why. Um, tonight is Sunday, July 13th, and it was the premiere of the first episode of the miniseries Generation Kill on HBO. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's a miniseries based on a book written by a Marine who was in the 1st Battalion to uh, be in the first wave of invasion on Iraq. Um, looks like a good book from the first episode. I actually want to go out and buy it and read it now. Um, Anyone who wants to see it, do have to warn you, if you're not a fan of profanity and not a big fan of vulgar comments and crude racial stuff, you might not want to watch it. I take everything with a grain of salt. I enjoyed it, you know, I mean, to some it's offensive, you know, you just kind of have to grin and bear it. Um, brother's a soldier and I kind of get the whole reason behind it. I'm not going to go into it. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, the main reason I want to talk about this is, again, big connection back to Twilight. One of the actors in this new uh, miniseries is Kellen Lutz. Yes, Kellen Lutz. He plays none other than Emmett Cullen in the new movie. Oh my goodness gracious, if you have not seen him, you do not know what you're missing. If I wasn't so completely in love with Robert Pattinson, I would definitely be happy with Emmett. With Kellen and Emmett, and to be totally honest, with Jackson too. But, really, oh my goodness gracious. And the best thing is, in this episode of Generation Kill, they had Kellen start out in the first five minutes. It was great. He was already in the very beginning of the show. And then, not even ten minutes later, he was shirtless. Shirtless. No shirt. Oh, I, I almost hyperventilated. I was going crazy. Um, loved it. Love the show. Looks hilarious. Can't wait to see the next episode. Um, have to say, glad I got to see another thing with Kellen in it. A uh, really entertaining, great actor. Got to see him in Accepted, and I loved him in that. And he was in Stick It. Didn't get to see it. Got to see some of the parts he was in, but I haven't got to see the whole movie yet. I know, shame on me. But um, it's really nice to see him stretch his acting muscle and see him in so many different roles, you know, playing the skater and then playing kind of the bicycle riding guy in Stick It. And then playing a soldier now, and obviously playing a vampire this December. Lots of ground to cover for one guy. Great job. Um, so, if you're interested in watching it, I completely recommend it. Um, I can't wait, again, for the next episode. Um, also, another thing I want to talk about is the new Entertainment Weekly coverage of the Twilight films and Breaking Dawn with Stephanie Meyer. Um, about the cover... heard both sides of the argument. I've heard people that really love it, and I've heard people that really hate it. I think it's gorgeous. And see, the thing I keep hearing is that, well, they don't look like Edward and Bella. Actually, I don't think they're supposed to look like Edward and Bella. I think they're supposed to look like Rob and Kristen, playing, like, portraying, like, the artistic vision of what Bella and Edward are. Kind of romanticized, you know. Because obviously it's not supposed to be Bella, because... Bella would never wear that much makeup and a dress and her hair all done up pretty and all that kind of stuff. That's not Bella. Kristen might do it. I don't know much about her, just her dressing habits or anything like that. She might. And obviously Edward isn't going to have his shirt all open with chest hair and the sideways belt buckle and all that stuff. But Rob might. Rob seems like that kind of guy who'd be able to just walk around and just be very proud of his body. Which I'm very proud of his body too. Yeah. Um, 
So, I really like the picture, and again, don't think it's supposed to look like Edward and Bella, I think it's just supposed to be Rob and Kristen, and just kind of draw them in, it connects it back into Twilight, but it's just them as people, more artistic than anything. Kind of Vanity Fairish, I really like it. Um, the pictures inside, there's the group picture with um, Victoria, played by Rochelle, and then there's Kristen and Rob, and then James, played by Cam Gande. And um, Taylor Lautner, who is Jacob, is the group picture for the um, article. I think it looks amazing. They all look great. I mean, Taylor looks a lot older in that one picture. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. To me, it's a good thing. But, again, you're open to your own opinion. Uh, Cam, sexy, okay, have to say, even though he's evil, non-vegetarian vampire, Hot, hot stuff. Has to be said. Um, Rob and Kristen, of course, Rob, the signature, trying to protect Bella Pose, you know, has her arm and she's making sure that nobody's bothering her. And, you know, Victoria kind of off in the background and the shadows kind of hidden. You know, it's, it says a lot about their characters. I really like that picture, too. And then, of course, the third one with Rob carrying Kristen in the rain, which, according to the Entertainment Weekly website, the picture is supposed to signify their stormy relationship. I guess I get it, you know. A lot of people have said that Kristen looks like a corpse, which she kind of does. But, I get the point. And plus, how does that not make Rob look sexy that he can carry this girl in the rain and he's all wet? You know, it's just kind of hot. Very romance novel-ish. I think that's kind of the direction they were going with the cover and that picture. But I like it. So... I don't know. I think they're great pictures. Other people think they're great pictures. But again, think what you want to think. It's not really my place to tell you what to think. Um, just, uh, just trying to get through the week until the next Twilight Tuesday, which actually is like two days from now. Excited. Um, and this Tuesday is the release of the Penelope DVD with the new footage of Twilight, which they have shown the opening for. Um, they have put it on the lexicon, and I've seen that. I have actually watched it about seven times. But, um, just have to say, cannot wait. I'm halfway tempted to go buy the DVD just to see the clips. So, really, really excited about that. A lot of people are wondering if in the opening that they've released, if the music in the middle, the piano solo, might actually be the lullaby. Big question on everyone's mind. Kind of exciting to find out, isn't it? Um, other thing. The quotes of the day started two days ago. Exciting. The first quote, classic Edward and Alice. It's just, it reminds me so much of the chess game, and it's just so lighthearted. It's really nice to see that there's a, at least one point in the book where everyone's in a good mood. So that's nice. And then, uh, today's quote also seems kind of questionable. You know, obviously it's not going to be a big plot-changing quote she's going to put in there, but a lot of people are saying, you know, it's probably Bella being sarcastic with Mike. Makes sense. Uh, Bella tends to be kind of sarcastic with people. Great thing. Love sarcasm myself. So, who knows what exactly is going on with that one. But can't wait to see the next one, I have to tell you that. Um, looking forward to the release party at Barnes and Noble is where I'm going. Um, the theme is a red and white wedding, a, a red and, yeah, red and white, red and black, <laughs> sorry, red and black wedding affair. Um, kind of excited. I'm thinking about making a t-shirt that's going to look absolutely awesome. And, uh, when I finish that, I will definitely show you guys here on YouTube. Um, other than that, I don't really have much to say until Twilight Tuesday, see what's going on. Um, so until then, peace. See you then. Episode 4. Stay tuned. Bye.